This podcast contains explicit content. My hands are sweaty. Why? He's weak. Mom. I don't know, <laughs> but they're sweaty and they're all, they're all, what did he say? Hardly focused. Focus podcast. Thanks for listening to us. You can find us at hardlyfocused.com. You can get us on your favorite podcast app. Just search for Hardly Focused. You can watch us on our YouTube channel at hardlyfocused.com slash YouTube. And then you can finally buy some merchandise, some shirts, some giant ass stickers, some five by seven stickers. Um, and some much smaller stickers too, and uh, these cool T-shirts, uh, and our black, white, and orange family-friendly T-shirt. You can get all of that at HarleyFocus.com/store. Let me share my screen here real quick. Uh, Mike, you sent this to me just a moment ago. Here we go for those watching. According to daily.com, map shows West Coast has the worst air quality on the planet right now. Yeah, no shit. Mike, you're muted. It's a little dusty over there, I think. Mike, have you been talking this whole time on mute? No, just right now. Okay. <laughs> it, yeah, it is by far and away. The, like, it's not even like close with the numbers. Like, oh, it's slightly elevated. No, it's like the worst by far. Like, China and Bangladesh are like, nothing compared to this <laughs> yeah christ man yeah and it, it's like it, it extends all the way up into canada too dude that's fucking bad and canada's like well, guys what the fuck it's affecting us now and we're not happy but we're sorry yo what's that 182 over by uh west virginia uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what is it <laughs> i don't know it's gotta be that's that like louisville it's gross over there uh, the 182 over there is this. I also noticed the area that we uh, live in is 78. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's yeah. surrounded by 9-2. <laughs> Nothing like breathing Three. in some uh, yeah. molten lead every now and again. Oh, look down in Florida, too. Florida is fine, except for uh, what I imagine is Orlando at 104. <laughs> that also could just be the humidity, too. Yeah, I mean, that, that certainly doesn't help. So, hey. uh, since, oh, Cincinnati. It's in Cincinnati. 182 Cincinnati. Oh, nice. Uh, a, <laughs> that's Ohio, that right? makes sense. That's Ohio. Yeah, there you go. That's why Sarah doesn't want to live there. See, there's no reason. <laughs> Air quality sucks. <laughs> Just add into the case. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you go to Cincinnati and then you turn around and uh, on every corner, all you hear is. <laughs> You know, I want to move to one of the places that doesn't have a number because no one's recording anything. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> like Mino, North Dakota, <laughs> Missoula, Montana. Actually, I think Missoula is actually uh, get close to the numbers. Uh, I don't know where Billings is by comparison. Here's, here's the answer. Anything in western Kansas or eastern Colorado, nothing is there. Or Nebraska. Now, Nebraska yeah, barely has anything. I think that 57 there, that might be Omaha, but that's it. Because I know that uh, the, the Pey Peyton Manning, what? The Omaha, two, Omaha. <laughs> the two major cities in Nebraska are on like the far right edge of the state going into Ooh. Iowa because they don't want to be <laughs> in Nebraska. In, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually saw Nebraska reopening because uh, there's nothing out there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just like, if you're up. outside of those two cities, you're like, I'm not going to meet anybody besides cows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then you go to Napa Valley in California, where it's uh, or, or north of the Bay Area, where you, your air quality is at a pleasant Damn 500. Yeah, over 500. 535. Oof. Fucking nuts up there. Even in Idaho, where the potatoes are, 476. I mean, that's just extending. So, man, uh, you can, know. Can, here's a question. Can we get to 600? I mean, really? I mean... <laughs> Be nice. You know what? There probably is a 600 on there, and we're just not seeing it. Somewhere in the blob of 529. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's covered. You can't see it. It's happening, but you just like where? 
Uh, well, here's the thing, though. It, the, the system, the actual layers of, of color max out at 500. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. If you, there is no 600 on this scale. There you go. And, oh, if, actually, if you click in yeah, uh, and, uh, and you scroll down, the second map. Oh. 615. Oh, Ooh, there it is. There it is. I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't even realize there were intera- interactive maps down here. 615. Look at that. And the worst we've got uh, is India or Bangladesh at 345. Uh, these are just and, screen caps down here. I thought these aren't the interactive ones. No, these are screen caps. Okay, but still, the point being, double almost yeah. the worst there. Yeah, now I see what you mean about uh, <laughs> Bangladesh <laughs> in Bangalore. Ew. Yeah. And then there's that one jerk up there in uh, Greenland with his one <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> you know why? Because there's that one Inuit that's just smoking. He's like, oh, there's my air quality. <laughs> Yeah. Christ alive. Fucking Paul Mall's up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, there you go. If, if that was on your uh, on your bingo sheet for 2020 for uh, September. The uh, fires, on the West Coast fires. So uh, uh, quickly, uh, 9-11 has come and gone. Today's the 12th of September. Uh, and the first 9-11 since the world went there, shit. Um, and the memes... I have never seen so many angry memes, 9-11 themed memes. The internet has no rules. That's true. Uh, here's one. I See if you guys agree with this. I saw a lot of people posting variants of this, but it was all the same message that something along the lines of the world should be the world today should be the way it was on September 12th. Oh my God! Yes, everybody was together. Nobody was hating each other, except for the Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you Those agree with that? Fucking Arabs, man. That was the general mindset the day afterwards, too, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. So much for being together, except for those one people. Right. Well, that's isn't that always how it goes? Like, oh, we're all together against this one minority over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we we increased our profiling by a thousand percent. Uh, I don't want to go back to the way the world was on September 12th, because if I remember correctly, on September 12th, I and a lot of other people were severely depressed and were for a very long time afterwards. Yeah, I want to go back to like 1998. Yeah, when like the worst thing you had to worry about was... Uh, what, the Y2K? You, yeah, getting kicked off the internet because someone picked up the phone. Mom, I'm downloading a video. <laughs> I'm so sad because Prince, games. I'm sad because Princess Diana died. <laughs> well, it's not even a princess anymore. <laughs> she was divorced. Didn't she technically lose the princess title because she got the uh, yeah, technically, but fuck yeah. it. People were like, she's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I don't want to go back to September 12th. That was uh, I. Yeah, it it, it, it was a miserable time for everybody. Uh, yeah, the world was brought together because they were uh, uh, they were all shook. They couldn't believe that such a thing happened. And uh, yeah, the the way we're, we are right now, I mean, we're uh, now inundated with Black Lives Matter, the pandemic ruining everything. Um, I mean, you, you can't bring the world together. You bring the world together and then the coronavirus numbers just go up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I saw the all lives matter, uh, all all buildings matter. That was uh, <laughs> that was that was yesterday. hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Because people were losing their shit, and all Twitter did was go back and get the receipts from three, four, five years ago, and then being like, um, you know, why why is everybody in arms over all lives matter? It should, you know, it, it, we're talking about everybody, blah blah blah. Like, oh, okay. Like yep. a bunch of fucking hypocrites. The ones that are getting pissed are the ones that are not realizing it's actually a social commentary. No one's actually thinking all fucking buildings matter, you <laughs> dipshits. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, the just the the way the way the world is right now, I think, really <laughs> it, it kind of brought out the worst in people yesterday, especially when uh, everyone has to 
stop and think about this horrific event that affected not only the U.S., but the world, and then have that fueled by just the general, uh, you know, hate and unrest plaguing the, the world right now. So, uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was a fun 9-11 and then next year you got the you got the twentieth anniversary. Twentieth anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That's gonna be even. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be interesting right there. Um, I think something we actually survive until then. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, I didn't go to sleep last night because I um I listened to the NORAD tapes from September 11th. Uh, if you don't because, know, because why? Uh, because uh, you're a glutton for punishment. You want to do like. Relive PTSD moments? Like, what's, what's going on? Uh, it offers a very interesting viewpoint into uh, what was happening that day that uh, people don't really think about because they only think about what they saw on TV, heard on the radio, the firsthand accounts. Uh, but you, a lot of people haven't actually heard, you know, what was happening with uh, at NORAD, at the air traffic control centers, while they were trying to a, figure out what was going on, and then B, figure out what to do to make sure it stopped. Um, and it is uh, it is shit that you see in movies. And hell, dude, I don't think any of those guys have ever had to do anything like this since 9-11. Right? Like how many... I don't think they're complaining about that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish we had more 9-11s. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, in the the tapes I watched. This is literally the last uh, the last thing that was spoken. Is there like a national terrorist day or something that we missed out on? Obviously, uh, this was a day we won't forget for a long time. September eleventh, two thousand and one. <laughs> yeah, because they do exercises, right? Like it's all military, so they're they're probably doing exercises yeah. daily, weekly for this stuff, and then uh, then it happens, and you're like, oh shit! Actually, uh, I have audio of that. <laughs> uh, what are you shitting? Yes, <laughs> violently. Um, uh, what? So, question that you know the question always comes up: Is this a test? Is this an exercise? Or is this real? And uh, the one, the, you know, the one percent chance that they're going to say this is not an exercise. Uh, and what I just said right now, uh, with the reaction of "oh shit," listen to listen to like, the, this dude's reaction here when uh, the question is asked and answered. I just weapon, Sergeant Powell. Hi, right, Boston Center, TMU. We have a, a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New, New York, and we need you guys to. We need someone to scramble some F-16s or something up there to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise manifest. Okay, hey, uh, hold on one second, okay? Yep. Hey, 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 okay, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be right so, back. <laughs> oh, hold God. on. Oh, God. Hold. <laughs> what <laughs> what was that shit 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 <laughs> all i can think of was uh, when i heard that was uh the office when they're doing the uh the murder mystery and creed shows up late and uh, he's like hey boss what's going on he's like sir there's a murder and you are a suspect <gasps> okay hey i'll be right back and he just yes, leaves <laughs> like... <laughs> so uh yeah if you, you ever want nightmare feel stuff to um if you, if, you, if you ever want to stay up all night, then yeah, just uh, listen to 90 minutes of NORAD tapes from 9-11. That's always that guy good. answered the phone like a, a true like customer service guy that's had to answer a lot of phones. They're like, hey, yeah, what's up? They're so cordial. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, you for real? Oh, all right. Well, I'll let the guys know. W oh, with shit. <laughs> with everything going on, they were so cordial, too. They're like, hey, how you doing? How's it going? <laughs> At one point, they're just like, "Ah, eh, well, it could be better, you know." <laughs> uh, it appears we got a need for some sort of uh, scrambling of jets up here. And, uh, <laughs> how's the wife and kids? <laughs> Heard any good jokes lately? <laughs> yeah, yeah, eight forty-five a.m. Oof. Yeah. Um, and there's one point too. It's very, very polarizing, and you'll see like um articles that that cover 
that whole thing that they mentioned this that um one of the they're called like id techs and i think like i don't know if it's right to equate them to being like um receptionists or like switchboard operators but <laughs> but they're basically the ones that like take this stuff as it coming in as it comes in and they direct it to you know the appropriate parties like the faa the, the military and one of them says like asks is this an exercise and say no this is real world real world and she goes cool Holy shit. Oh man, that's yeah. bad. Well, you can't tell if she's saying, "Cool, it's real world." Oh man, we get to go in because they didn't fucking know what was happening at that point. It was, it, I think, this was like when the first plane got hijacked. So no one knew what was about to happen, or it could just be her just being like, "Oh great," like that sort of sort sarcastic, cool, like you know how I react to things. When I hear that, I'm just like, "That's how I interpret it." It's sort of like a, "Oh boy, this is gonna be fun." Put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. I go, boy, now I get to deal with this for the rest of the day. Uh, she just hangs up. No, I, don't, I don't actually work till 9 a.m. <laughs> you know, I'm on break. I'm on break. <laughs> Please call back later. <sighs> so, uh, so yeah, uh, again, night, good nightmare feel right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, 9-11, uh, 2021, that'll be interesting, especially if the world is still in the same condition that it is now. Uh, water level a little bit higher. Yeah, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Climate change is not real. The apocalypse is coming. Yeah. Get your rations now. Uh Mike, you you're you're usually uh pretty involved on the on the old internet there. How are the climate change truthers reacting to the West Coast burning up? Um they are silent for uh, there's there's like there's like a split. Like a lot of them are quiet. Like Mm, we need to shut our fucking mouths. The other ones are like, uh, well, this wouldn't have happened if, uh, if, if like it was man-made anyway. So it's not, cl- it's not climate anyway. It's, you know, just like Trump, they should have raked the forests. Yeah. So it, it's split. I'd say two thirds have shut the fuck up. The one third is still trying to claw. You know, like, no, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just got to go with the crazy conspiracy theory. Uh, Russia actually started these fires. It was they paid the uh, the family that did the gender reveal to use massive pyrotechnics. That way they could just dis- disturb the uh, the votes on that side of the the country. I Voter still, election fraud altogether. I still say it's an elaborate scheme set up by the Republicans to fuel the Trump re-election campaign. Orange there sky is everywhere. <laughs> uh, there could be truth to that. That's the worst part about our life. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nothing's uh, as I, you know. I, I fall victim. To this myself, uh, just on my own. But as we've learned, nothing is a joke anymore. No, oh, is the onions articles are just basically uh, from one month in the future. Yeah. Do you remember the show? There was a show called Early Edition. Do you remember that? Is the dude yes. that gets the the newspaper one day in advance so he, he he can prevent whatever sort of catastrophe is about to happen. The guy, uh, I believe, he went on to be. Uh, he was in Super Eight. Yep, which uh, a, Kyle Chandler. Yeah, fantastic movie. Everyone thought it was Cloverfield too. <laughs> uh, we'll wrap with this. Uh, this from uh, about a week ago. Guy uh, very vocal about boneless wings. Did you see this? <laughs> like a strong opinion about them, or uh, just like? Yeah, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, he had a strong opinion about boneless wings. Uh, speaking to his, uh, local city council, uh, about the topic. Let me uh, do the old screen share here. Um, wait, he brought it to government. He did. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, he did. All right, here we go. Uh, the video is titled boneless wings or trash. Here is, um, here is this gentleman talking to city council. First and then Jane, and then you. Okay. I promise I won't take up too much of your time here. My name is Andrew Christensen. Uh, I live at 1212 Twin Ridge Road. Lincoln has the opportunity to be a social leader in this country. We have been casually ignoring a problem that has gotten so out of control that our children are throwing around names and words without even understanding their true meaning and 
treating things as, <laughs> as though they're normal. I go into nice family restaurants and I see people throwing this name around and pretending as though everything is just fine. I'm talking about they don't know what's coming. Wings. They don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you should have paused before he said anything. You should have. Oh my god! Yeah, you got to have that dramatic pause. Yeah, I think he went into it too quickly. You can tell he's nervous. Yeah, well, because he's like, I need to get the joke out. I need to get the joke out. I need to get the joke out. No, 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 man. Let it build. Let it build. He also might be on a time crunch too. That might be like, you've got three minutes. Go. And he's like, crap. This was three minutes and fifty seconds. I got to speak, speak fast. Okay, go, go. Do you remember there was um, those guys that would go to? Um, they would go to these city council meetings and they would just sing. They would just troll them and then, uh, like, this one dude starts singing Britney Spears. Oh, the taste of your lips. I'm on a ride. You're toxic. I'm slipping under. I do not remember those. Oh, because that's these are the guys that you you want doing this because they know how to uh, <laughs> they they know how to do this. Um, and then you get a great reaction like this from the uh, the city council members. Bill and Ted's excellent uh, adventure. <laughs> that's what they should have called the third movie, Bill and Ted's uh, excellent adventure. Do I have any audio of that? No, I don't have any. I only have the dude singing Toxic. All right. Um, uh, more of uh, this guy. Re-rack re this a bit. Okay, here we go is just fine i'm talking about boneless chicken wings i propose that we as a city remove the excuse me i'm trying to yeah, yeah. excuse me <laughs> <laughs> i propose <laughs> yes just goes this is serious <laughs> sir please please i did not laugh on uh, when you were up here okay sir <laughs> please afford me the respect i deserve while i'm at this podium this is just as important as spraying Black Lives Matter on a city street, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, re racked here we go. I see people throwing this name around and pretending as though everything <laughs> is just fine. I'm talking about boneless chicken wings. I propose that we as a city remove the... Excuse me, I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah. excuse me, sure. come on. <laughs> I propose that we as a city remove the name boneless wings from our menus and from our hearts. These are our reasons why. Number one, nothing about boneless chicken wings actually come from the wing of a chicken. We would be disgusted if a butcher was mislabeling their cuts of meats, but then we go around and pretending as though the breast of the chicken is its wing. Number two, boneless chicken wings are just chicken tenders, which are already boneless. I don't go to order boneless tacos. I don't go and order boneless club sandwiches. I don't ask for boneless auto repair. <laughs> it's just what's expected. And then number three, we need to raise our children better. Our children are raised being afraid of having bones attached to their meat. That's where meat comes from. It grows on bones. Bones attached to your meat, eh? Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can rule 34 of this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, here we go. He's <laughs> being afraid of having bones attached to their meat. That's where meat comes from. It grows on bones. We need to teach them that the wing of a chicken is from a chicken and it's delicious. I propose that we rename boneless wings in the city of Lincoln. We can call them buffalo style chicken tenders. We can call them wet tenders. We can call them saucy nugs or trash. We can take these steps and show the country that where we stand and that we understand that we've been living a lie for far too long and we know it because we feel it in our bones. Thank you. Great ending line. Great ending line. Strong ending. Yeah. Was, you know, I, I'd vote for him. Yeah. I, I you know, and, and, and I, I don't know about you guys. I'm not a, um, I'm not a big, um, uh, chicken wing fan. I like him boneless. I prefer him boneless. He needs his tendies boneless. <laughs> so Mom, my tendies, <laughs> they're getting cold in the microwave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there you go. Um, Mike, uh, these messages that you left in chat, when did that happen? Uh, just like 30 seconds ago. Did, well, did it pick up on the mic? I have no idea. All I know is that I heard a big wail and mama got really fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you just you're just gonna stay in the room, are you? Aren't you? I don't want to get yelled at either. <laughs> <laughs> They're at that age, man. And then just wait the other one when she hits this age. Well, she'll be able to hit back. That's the thing. That's oh. the problem right now. She can't hit back. Is that what happened? I, uh, something happened. <laughs> something happened. Let's start calling your kid Calvin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be walking out into something. All right. Uh, sh do we vamp or do we end so you can go do your fatherly duties? Uh, um, I, I think we're. I'm going to end okay. because I have a feeling I need to get out of here. Okay. Well, we'll wrap it with that. Um, this is good uh, exercise in making sure that for future episodes, I have a prep sheet ready to go. So, <laughs> What does that mean? Boy, it felt like an old talk radio meltdown episode. Man, how do we do this for so long without <laughs> preparation? Jesus. Thank you, Internet. All right. Oh, God. All right, Mike. Thank you. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look how every show ends with, I have to go. My kids are doing something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah, just about right. Uh, Fro, uh, good luck with the rooster. Oh, yes. It's going to be. It, I actually have two of them. Nice. I'm surprised none of the neighbors have complained. Two cocks. All right. <laughs> it's better than one. I guess <laughs> it's really not though. Cause they fight. I mean, the whole thing is just a horrible mess. I mean, that's the most entertaining thing. Yeah. That's the stuff you bet money on. Uh, uh eh, well, yeah. Down South, maybe I, I try to stay on the legal side of owning chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you just telling me that's illegal to have them around here. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> Look, I know you're no lawyer. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll uh, wrap it at that. We'll talk at you next time. See you. Bye. Watch out.